Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 10 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to replace null values into integer value and also how to convert negative integer into positive using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see our use case. So here as we discussed, we want to replace null values with some integer values. Okay. So here you can see this is how the source data looks like. It is a SQL table where we have two columns. One is ID and another one is number. Okay, ID is auto incremental identity column and number is having uh, negative values, right? One minus one minus two and there are few nulls as well. So what we want in our use case is we want to convert uh, or, or replace this null value into some integer value. That is in our case, we have to replace it with zero and also we want to convert negative integer into positive integer so that is minus 1 should be replaced by 1 and minus 2, two should be replaced by 2 so similarly for other numbers it should be replaced with positive number okay so let me go to the source data first and show you the table so here the table resides in my azure sql uh, database and the table name is integer values and we have the data like this okay so uh, if the same requirement would have been in SQL uh, server, then what functions we could have used to replace negative values into positive, there is a function called absolute function, right? So let me try to use that function on top of this column value and show you how the uh, data looks like, okay? So you can see all the negative values got converted into positive with the help of this absolute function, okay? So let me give the column name for this and let me take id as well okay so this is one scenario and the other thing is we need to replace this null with zero okay so we can use a function called is null here okay so what it does is it identifies if there is any null in this column then it will replace it with the given argument or given value okay so let me run this so now you can see all the negative values got converted into positive and also null got converted into zero okay there were two nulls and it got converted into zero so let's try to implement the same in data flow okay so let me go to the azure portal and here in adf i have created a data set that is pointing to the integer values table okay now let me create a new data flow my data flow debug uh, is already enabled to preview the data during the creation of uh, data flow now let me add source and here in source transformation let me select that data set which we created to point to the uh, integer values table okay and here let me preview the data first so you can see both the columns are coming id and number but the sequence is not coming correct so let me go to the data set and see if the schema has been imported correctly or not let me try to import a schema and now ID and number are visible. Let me refresh the data again. Yeah, so now the data is correct in source transformation. Now we want to update this column, right? Number column. So what is the transformation we need to use in order to update an existing column or create a new column? Uh, there's a transformation called derived column transformation, which we have already discussed in our previous videos. So uh, here we will choose the existing column number, okay? and we will use some expression that will perform the transformation okay so let me uh, use the same functions that is absolute and is null function and try to see if it works in data flow as well or not so let me check so absolute is a function present in data flow as well which converts you can see the example which converts minus 20 into 20 and uh, 10 is uh, also returning positive value 10 so it basically removes the negative symbol okay so let me try to use this function on top of our number column okay so now you can see it is giving error saying absolute function expects number type of argu argument okay so in our case this number is not in integer format okay so to convert it into integer format we need to use two integer function okay which converts string into integer okay so let me use this to integer function and now let me see if uh, the 
uh, values get converted into positive values or not okay let me try to hit refresh in data preview yeah so the data is visible now in the number column you can see all the negative values got converted into positive let me show you the source this was how the data looked like and now minus has been removed and only positive symbols are visible now our requirement is to remove this null and replace it with zero okay so let me check if is null function is present here or not okay so he here you can see is null function is present and um, in the example we can see is null returns true if there is a null value inside this argument and it returns false if it is not null value okay but it does not actually accepts the next argument to replace this null value like how was the case in sql right it accepts the argument which which will be the replacing value okay so what do we do now if we just use is null and if we try to use replace it with zero will it work it is throwing error saying it can only accept one number of parameter okay so to to achieve this let me remove this and we can make use of if condition okay so there is something called iif which is nothing but if condition and here we need to pass the condition value in the first parameter so if 10 plus 20 is equals to 30 then return this uh, output or else return this output second one okay as this condition is meeting true so it is giving the first argument as the output okay so similarly you can see if 10 is greater than 30 which is false so it is giving second parameter as the output okay so similarly if month of this date is equals to 12 which is true then it will return this value okay so now we can use make use of this if condition here and we will check if this is null returns true then what we will do let me give the first expression if it returns true that is if this value is null then we will ret uh, we will replace it with zero and if it is not null then we will replace it with the same number that is absolute of this number right so let me write the query and let me hit save and finish now let me go to the data preview and refresh this yeah so the data is visible so now you can see the null value got replaced with zero okay there were two null values and it got replaced both of them got replaced with zero let me show you the source so these two null values in id equals to three and six got replaced with zero okay and negative got converted into positive with the help of this absolute function okay so now we have to load this data into the same table okay so let me use sync transformation and let me use the same data set which is there in source okay and in sync setting instead of insert we will use uh, we will use update okay once i clicked on this update it is asking for key columns so on the basis of id column we will perform this update okay and also there is a pop up which says click uh, click to insert and alter row transformation so let me click this and it added an alter row transformation where we need to set the up update policy okay so here we will just write true simply so that this action will be performed in all the columns that is absurd update will be happening in all the columns okay so now let me create a pipeline to run this data flow okay so let me call this data flow and hit on debug so let's wait for the data flow to be completed so the data flow execution is completed now let's go back to sql and let me select star from this table okay let me run this query so now you can see our source data has been changed and it has replaced negative value with positive value and it all also replaced null with zero okay so this was our requirement and we have achieved this so that's it for this video guys it was a very short and simple use case so i hope you can also practice and implement the same to just uh, practice the hands-on okay so that's it uh, i hope you liked the video uh, please hit on like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet okay thanks please stay tuned